The server contains uh, personal communications from my husband and me, and um, I believe I have met all of my responsibilities, and the server um, will remain uh, private. Uh, private. That was Hillary Clinton 10 days ago, making her first public appearance on the exploding scandal over the unprecedented exclusive use of a private email server at her own home while she was secretary of state. Today, Republicans formally requesting that Mrs. Clinton turn the server over, they say, to a third party, an inspector general or somebody who would look at it and be neutral. And if she doesn't, they are now threatening to take this whole issue to court. Chief White House correspondent Ed Henry joins us live tonight from Washington. Hi, Ed. Good to see you, Martha. This is a legal and political showdown with some very interesting elements. The first is the timing of this Republican Trey Gowdy giving the former Secretary of State a deadline of April 3rd. Why is that interesting? Well, that's right around the time she's expected to launch an exploratory committee for president. This is the last thing she wants to be dealing with uh, right now, obviously. Gowdy saying the reason he wants to get at this server is, as you noted at that news conference uh, just over a week ago, she had said uh, that uh, no uh, official emails were deleted. These were just emails about yoga, bridesmaids, dresses. Uh, Gowdy wanting to know the over 31,000 uh, emails that were deleted. Was there any official business in there? Uh, and he said in this letter to Clinton's lawyer today, he needs a server, quote, for a thorough investigation into what happened before, during, and after the attacks in Benghazi, Libya. More broadly, the equities in these emails extend beyond this committee. The House of Representatives and the American people are entitled to a complete account of the secretary's official record during her time as secretary of state. The other interesting and final uh, element here is who received the letter for Secretary Clinton. It was David Kendall, who's the attorney representing her. Very prominent lawyer here in Washington for Williams and Connolly. You remember him from the late 90s representing then-President Bill Clinton during the impeachment drama. Why is that significant? This just shows she's not just gearing up for a presidential campaign. She is very much girding for a legal showdown here of epic proportions, Martha. Yeah.